In this short series of videos, I'm going to show you how to, on Windows, download and install the CodeLite uh, Integrated Development Environment and the G++ Compiler. In this first video, I'm just going to talk very briefly about why we've got to download, install and configure two things. So here is your familiar window from CodeLite. CodeLite is what's called an Integrated Development Environment. What this means is you can edit C++ files in here and you can also edit all sorts of other kinds of files and it provides you with uh, some little niceties like for example the syntax highlighting so you can see here keywords like void and const are in different colors, variables are in different colors, this kind of thing. There are also bits of debugging functionality that allow you to debug your program and you can also compile your program from inside the IDE. Now, you could equally create a C++ program using something like Notepad and use a compiler like over here, the G++ compiler, to compile it into an executable file. But it wouldn't be so easy because you'd have to create it, edit it, notepad, and then come to a command line and each time you'd have to type the command and then it would make the executable file. And if you wanted to debug it, you would actually have to use a different command. So what we do with an integrated development environment is we allow the compilation and debugging to take place directly within the development environment, directly where you edit the files. So, here's how it works. When we've got CodeLite downloaded and installed, we edit our C++ file, and when we save, it produces a .cpp file on the hard disk. When you click the compile button, or to run, you click the run button, then what CodeLite does is it immediately saves a copy of the .cpp file, and then it runs G++ for you, on the CPP file it just saved and produces the output, the executable file. It then runs the executable file if you've selected run and you see it come up in front of your integrated development environment. These two things, CodeLite and G++, are two separate products but CodeLite uses G++. So we need to download both of them separately and install them correctly in order for our project to be able to be compiled. I'm going to show you how to do that in the very next video.